Brett, two goals this afternoon. Um, yeah. I mean, two wonderful goals, very different goals. I mean, a trademark free kick to start with. We'll, just, we'll start with that one. I mean, how nice did that feel when that hit the back of the net? Yeah, amazing. Uh, really good feeling to put us one nil up. Um, I work on them a lot. Um, I'm always. Uh, getting some balls out after training and doing set pieces because I know they can impact games. Um, so yeah, when when your training pays off on a match day, it's always a good feeling. Talking to Mark just beforehand, saying how it was quite a physical game. These games are becoming physical in this league. Every every game always seems to feel like that. It's not a case of being able to get the ball down at times. You have the sending off the three goals in sort of half an hour of the game. Then you had to compose yourself. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean that happens more than most when you're away from home, do you know what I mean? Um, we knew their qualities, we knew their physical presence in the game, uh, but I, f I feel as if we dealt with that quite well, um, but we're coming away with three points, we probably could have performed better, um, you know, especially when they go to down to ten men early, we feel as if we can control the game, but they impose themselves quite well, put some crosses in the box, but um, look, we come away with three points. And, and, and as well, you had sort of the red card for, for Jake Wannell, you've had Harvey Greenstade getting come away with an injury, Rafael Arroyo come away with an injury, it's quite hectic when that's sort of dropping and changing. Yeah, it's not nice, um, we're a pretty small squad anyway, you know, we're tight knit, everyone gets along well with each other, but um, every team has to deal with injuries. Um, obviously the red card, once he's made a mistake, he'll hold his hand up like he has done in the change room. Um, but yeah, we'll deal with it and uh, we'll be ready to go next week. And then we managed to grab a third in the second half and maybe it could have been more. I mean, you managed to sort of get the ball from, from back to front very quickly in the end there with the game sort of stretching out. Yeah, um, like I said, we're a small squad, but we have quality off the bench. Um, credit to Youngie for his goal. He's, he's good at getting in them areas and he's good at scoring goals. Um, so when, when you can start with 11 good players and then bring subs on to impact the game, when the game is stretched, um, it's obviously beneficial to us. And I mean, the miles you travel, I mean, this time last week was we sat in Tyneside, this time next week we'll be sat here up in Lancashire again. I mean, how is it for you and the squad sort of, with all that travelling going on? Yeah, um, I wish someone told me about the mileage when I signed the Oval this far. Um, but no, look, if we have to we have to play the games, we have to travel, we have to, that's part of it. Um, I feel as if we recover well, we, we deal with the mileage on, on the bus and in our legs. Um, so yeah, we know what we're signing up for, we know how to deal with it, so we'll be ready for next week. And the supporters that enjoy those miles have come in fine voice again and, and backed you all the way through the 90 plus 10 minutes or whatever it was yeah. at the end. I mean, they're amazing to be fair to them. Um, you can hear them throughout the whole game, they travel so well. Um, even even last week in Gateshead, you can hear them in the crowd to travel that far. Um, we appreciate them and uh, I hope they've gone home happy with three points. Perfect, thanks for